well hello everybody i am going to be sharing a get it all done with you video i have not done this style of a video in quite a while so if you do like these type of videos give it a thumbs up so i know i can make some more of these but i have my list made of things that i want to accomplish today it's not like an overarching get everything done that i possibly can in like a 12 hour time period it's just some little tasks that haven't been done that have been pushed aside doing a little bit of fall maintaining cleaning of the house like washing my shower curtains and cleaning the liners decluttering just a drawer wiping down some of the doors hanging a basket that fell off the wall a couple of weeks ago and digging up some potatoes. So that one is more of a not maintaining the house, but just a task that needs to get done. So if you're needing some motivation, then hopefully you can come along with me as I do these tasks. Not only did I wash my shower curtain, I washed the hanging basket with my daughter's toys in them for the bath. And then we have a window around our shower. I know, not very convenient, but we have a very tiny bathroom and this is just how it is. And so there's that little curtain that covers it for privacy. And so I just washed all of that together and then um, washed the curtain off or dried the curtain on a gentle cycle and hung the liners um, on my drying rack to dry. And then it was time to wipe down the tile around it, wipe the window down. I do not wash this window very often as it's kind of one I just forget about. So it was definitely a needed task and one to get done and um, always having some interruptions when your little kids are around. Clutter our drawers next. Navea and I will help get rid of some of those bows. We don't need all those bows. And then I have some stuff of mine. I don't need everything in there. And then just like some shaver stuff and straightener curling iron that we will keep. So we're gonna declutter some of this stuff. I try to declutter our bathroom drawers probably quarterly. It's just something that I do regularly to keep it maintained as we don't have a lot of space in our bathroom. And so having a little girl who is getting a little more hair, she really doesn't wear the barrettes and bows very much, but I know I have another little girl coming up, so I am gonna save a few different colors. Um, and to be honest, I probably will get rid of more than um, I did save as well to someone who will use it better. too much but these bows um, are all pretty grimy and then just some broken barrettes that I used to have and some bobby pins and then I'll give these to donate so it looks a lot better already um, I try to keep it pretty minimal in there anyways and then we have this and these two are for little girls too so I still have a lot of bows hand-me-downs from relatives and such so that's all that we have in those ones so my three hanging baskets that I usually have right here um that one fell causing the third one to fall which is sitting here and this was like a week and a half ago so I haven't taken care of it and it scratched up the wall just a little bit there the holes came out um, if you can see that, it's a little dark. 
So I'm gonna touch up some of the paint and figure out how to get it to hang a little bit better. I didn't put it in the studs. So I need to figure out how to hang it better. And it's just a little bit heavy with my decor. So we're gonna change that up and do some touch up paint. good and straight there at least one is for sure in the studs so much better it makes me feel much safer knowing that if that falls it won't hit anybody or break and the paint touch-up was quick and simple got my second cup of coffee and yes my husband got me this mug for our anniversary which was back in July, so I use it regularly. We usually do French press, but when I'm in the mood for another one, I just use our little Walmart K-cup dispenser. I have shared this many times before, but whenever I can get my daughter to help me with some cleaning, I will let her. So she was magic erasing the walls with the little scuff marks just alongside with me too. I loved this moment. All right, so this door doesn't get a lot of attention. It goes out to our little port. Okay. And it gets just a little grimy, dirty. I'd like a new door eventually, but this is what we got. And so I'm gonna wipe it down because it's white and it needs a little scrubbing. So I'm gonna wash it down first and then my magic eraser is just a go-to for everything. So the next task, I am outside. I have about 30 minutes to dig up some potatoes before my youngest needs some nursing and the other one is down for a nap. So I've got the baby monitor out here right now so I can hear what's going on in the house and we'll see how much I can accomplish in that time. So um, I don't always have time consecutively to do tasks. We had someone stop by for about an hour. Things didn't continue. I had a feed earlier. So it's just, you know, get it done in the time frame you can and um, yeah, just do the best that you can. So that's what I'm gonna do here. my sunflowers but I let too many of them grow and I also let too many weeds grow into my potatoes but anyways that will be something I learned for next year is to weed a little bit more well part of it was having a newborn anyways I'm digressing so I got about one and a half rows out of five dug and I bought a basket full and I think I'm gonna call that good for now because potatoes do fine in the ground 
even through a light frost, and we don't have that even in our 10-day forecast. So I got done what I could in that 30 minutes time. One final task on my list was to finish my 10 gallons of apples, peeling and coring them. And we got that done. So I have some frozen for apple pies. I have some canned for apple butter, some applesauce, and I feel quite accomplished with those apples along with the day. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, getting it done, making the most of the time that you have to get projects done. Give this video a thumbs up, share it if you want others to be inspired, and I just hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day, and I will talk with you in my next video. Love you guys.